This is, uh, you know, such a significant and monumental story in American history mm -hmm. and uh, so many unsung heroes. For you both, what was the most significant thing that drew you in? It is an, an incredible time in American history, but it's also, it's incredibly relevant and the way that these writers created these characters, they all feel so familiar and it, it feels like, I think, you know, the stories feel very personal and it feels like, even though it's a period drama, it feels like a very familiar world in a lot of ways. Yeah, because it's so intimate and yeah. it's humanized. Once you get to the heart of something, we realize that it really crosses color lines. And the way it's told feels very modern, too. You've got yeah. the, the visuals, the music is yeah. in there. Oh, I mean, yeah. you have a lot of layers here. The elements that people love from season one are still there with just kind of new narratives. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it kind of doesn't fit into the into a box, into a TV genre box. I think it breaks with a lot of the conventions. You know, it obviously doesn't closely follow a period drama in, in a lot of Senses, so it's it's I think it's exciting in that respect. Now coming into season two, you're putting into the play Harry Tubman yeah. and also Frederick Douglass. Yes. Uh, that's got to be a cool element to have to tell your story. Most it, definitely. Yeah, it's it's great bringing in those you know these forces of characters, but again humanizing them and making them people that that feel like people you know or people that you, you want to know. And getting to know them more intimately so they're not just on the, the bookshelf. Mm. You know, they're now, in, they're gonna be in your living room, hanging out with you, crying with you, fighting with you, you know? <laughs> yeah. And that's really great. Yeah, talk to me about that. As artists, as we continue to fight for equality in our country, what does it mean to you to be able to bring something so historic and also educational to life for people to inhale and take into their lives? I think it's a wonderful, thing to be able to participate in, to, to be able to be involved in something that gives people access that might not have had access or to share information and I think with this show I do think it's aimed at a very, a much younger audience than perhaps, you know, historical dramas or period dramas normally would be. So people who are affected by it are very young people, you know, they're starting to show it, I believe, in schools. Yeah. As they should. And it's being approved by the adults who are supervising yes, them. So yeah. th the idea that it crosses such a wide age range. You know, I've, I've had mothers say, yup, I sat my, my son down. I said, you better come in here. We're about to watch <laughs> Underground. But then we saw a little, you know, I had kids who were just like, my mama was like, no, I'm not watching that. And then they sat their mama down and she was like, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, okay, absolutely. I'll meet you next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Something I really remember when I was a kid, uh, just very significant in my life, the show I'll always remember, 1975, seeing Roots mm. come oh, out. Yeah. It hit me it hit everybody in our class. Yeah. People were talking about it for weeks. How flattering is it to hear people talk about this is the next generation roots? Oh man, it's such an honor to kind of follow in those footsteps of telling, you know, the, the American story of these heroes and heroines, you know, to be a part of that, something that's so powerful. Just building us up and encouraging us for the possibilities of change and unifying as a nation against injustice and how we've done it before and what we the possibilities of what we can do again. To be a part of that as an artist, man, with some great writing and a great cast and crew. It is, mm -hmm. it is the gift.